This short video shows how to properly use the Nanin 9570 Go 2 Pulse Oximeter. The Go2 oximeter is a very convenient all-in-one device that measures oxygen saturation or SpO2 and pulse rate. The Go2 oximeter is used on the index finger for finger thicknesses between 1 3rd to 1 inch thick or 0.8 and 2.5 centimeters thick measured from the top of the finger at the middle of the nail to the pad of the finger. The Go2 oximeter may be used on other fingers if directed by your clinician. Changes in the light wave spectrum through the finger during pulsation of blood generate a measure of blood oxygenation and pulse rate sent to the pulse oximeter. The Go2 oximeter uses a single AAA battery for power. Each fully charged battery will perform about 2400 spa checks with the Go2 oximeter. Battery changes are easy. Simply slide off the battery door and remove the old battery. Insert a fresh AAA battery matching the positive and negative contacts to the markings in the battery compartment. Replace the battery door and you're ready to use the oximeter. You can see the remaining battery life and when a battery change is needed during use. The indicator will flash when the battery reaches a critical level. To use the Go2 oximeter, just slide your finger into the opening in the oximeter until it touches the stop guide with your palm up and the display facing up for easy viewing. The oximeter is hinged to gently hold the sensors on the top and bottom of your fingertip. Don't press down on the oximeter or squeeze it onto your finger. This may produce inaccurate results. The Go2 oximeter will automatically turn on, run through a brief self-test, and begin displaying your SpO2 percentage and pulse rate. No calibration is needed. Your oxygen saturation, known as SpO2 percentage, is displayed on the top, with your pulse rate below. The pulse signal quality indicator will display a line of hearts. The more hearts, the stronger the pulse signal strength. If the oximeter takes a moment to locate your pulse, a sensor disconnect may appear briefly immediately after the oximeter starts. It should disappear as the oximeter calculates your SpO2 and pulse rate. If the pulse signal quality indicator is low, or you don't get a reading while you are using the oximeter, try repositioning the oximeter on the finger, warming the hand and reinserting the finger or moving to a different finger. Remember, proper placement is important for accurate readings. When you are ready to stop using the oximeter, simply remove the oximeter from your finger. You'll notice the sensor disconnect indicator appear. The Go2 will turn itself off a few moments after it is removed from your finger. The Go2 oximeter does not have alarms and is designed for periodic spot checks. It also does not have any memory. If any LCD elements do not appear or if any of the displays do not appear as expected, remove the unit from use. If the screen remains blank when you insert your finger, check that the battery is inserted properly and that the finger is warm or try a different finger. You can clean the Go2 oximeter with a soft cloth dampened with mild detergent or 10% bleach solution. Wipe the skin contacting and exterior surfaces and allow it to dry. Do not spray, submerge, or use caustic cleaners like ammonium chloride or alcohol on the oximeter, which may damage the product. With proper use, the Nanin Go2 Pulse Oximeter will provide consistent, accurate oxygen and pulse rate measurement. You can find additional use information on this and other Nanin products at www.nanin.com.